Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for 111, January 11th. So it's 111. Very powerful day when it's 111, right? The day of manifestation. So we're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. We're going to use this tarot deck. What do we have for 111? What do we have for 111? What's the universe? What is this? This is the world. This is the end. It's the end, right? This is what's been going on. This is what is going on in the collective right now. It's the biggest completion. The universe is helping you to remove things from your life that no longer serve you. It's what's going on in the majority as we speak. There's a huge release, cleansing, detoxification, completion going on. It's massive. Everybody the majority is heading in a new direction. They're completing a phase. The phase, you know, and it could, it could, I'm not going to put a timeline on it because there's, there's, it could be a, any amount of, but whatever this was, it was a really prominent one, okay? It was a really prominent time in your life. Something that affected you in a big way. It's time. You, you can check that one off. You've learned something from it. It's over. Major new beginning. 111. Perfect. Perfect. I don't want to stop. Nothing to catch on fire now. Um... It's beautiful. It really is. Somebody, you know, is traveling. I'm traveling to my new destination. It's over. It's over. Whatever, whatever... What you once knew is no more. It's really, really over with the world card. I mean, the traveler starts at the fool to me and goes all the way to the end. And that's the last card. He has to go through all that life. Life as you knew it. Last year, the past five years, the past 11 years, whatever. It's the past 21 years, the past three years, whatever it is. That phase is over. It's really over. Let's make that clear. It's a major completion. We've reached the end of this cycle. You know, it could have even been a seven-year cycle. could have been a 14-year cycle. could have been a 21-year cycle. Any, any amount of time. A cycle in your life is done. And now, I think we've, we've pretty much pointed that one home, right? Let's see what this has to say. Oh! Oh! I couldn't have said it any better. The end. The end. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Now, don't be afraid for those of you that are afraid. Don't be afraid. Do you see what the card says? I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. There's nothing to be afraid of. This release, this transition, this, this ending, of what you once knew needs to end. 
That's because it's time for you to evolve. It's time for your rebirth. It's time to you for you to transform. It's time for your transformation. You're not that same person anymore, and that's why whatever this is needed to end. But these are these are the biggest ending cards in the deck. It's a time of transition, release, and finality. And this is a lesson learned. I am learning. Somebody is is learning that that phase is I re I accept. It's pretty similar. This has been going on for oh these these endings were coming about towards the end of 2018 and and now it's just really at the point of really we're really really at the finish line okay they were cultivating people were taking baby steps to the end and now we are literally at the finish line okay we're at the finish line Now you gotta make a now you gotta make a choice. And you may be a little confused. Now the Seven of Cups is a card of consequences, it really is. You can you have the option to stay stuck, you do. You have the option to stay right, right, right where you're at. That's only one option. You got six other options here, better options. Somebody's in the process of making a decision which option needs to go, which option should I take, which option do I, wh I'm confused. Which one is real? Thinking, somebody's in the process right now of making a decision because they understand that there will be consequences for their action. Five of Wands. Tension. Yeah, there is some tension because when you got to make a decision like this, when you got to decide, you know, if you still want to play that game that you've been playing or you want to you wanna move into a new space or if you want to travel to a new destination, there's some conflict around making that decision. So I think that there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, I'm comfortable with what I know, but I know there's a better option. This is really comfortable where I'm at. I've been playing this game. I know how to play it, you know. <laughs> I'm good at this game. I've been playing it for a while. Now I have these better options. I'm going to have to, you know, <sighs> learn some new skills perhaps, you know, start playing another one. Um, we're going to get some more cards. I'll turn that light on in a minute. And that's what's happening. A light is going to be turned on. I'm going to turn on in a minute. But a real light, okay? It's a foot lamp. <laughs> so, so, we have somebody here who really doesn't want to deal with the conflict of change. You know, I'm not sure I even want to play this game. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to make this decision. But they know that, that they have to. They know that they have to because where they're at right now, there's, there's no growth. There's, um, no hope there's no there's no fire there's no passion left wherever they're at wherever they're at there's no desire to put in any effort there's there's like a lack of of drive a lack of ambition wherever they're at it's like it's gone gotten to the point of uh well lethargy say you could say lethargy for lack of a better word uh fatigue you know it's like 
there's no life in it. It's, and that's why I need to make a decision to move on because there's no more passion left. There's no more life left. Wherever they're at, it's, it's dead. It's dead. I'm, I mean, that for lack of a better word, it's like there's no life in it. And, you know, they, they realize that they can't keep playing this game. I mean, these are both games right here. They are. I can't keep playing this game. I can't. Somebody is deciding that, you know, they need to make a change to bring balance back to their lives. Right now, they've made some bad decisions and it's caused them, you know, to go backwards, downhill. They've went downhill because of the decisions that they made. So now they, they realize that they're going to have to take the power back in their own hands and set some boundaries and be realistic. And I think that this whoever this person is that is completing this cycle in their life is is kind of, you know, they, it's not like they want to hurt anybody, but they have to do what they have to do for themselves. It's like, i got to take care of me here. So... <laughs> It's like this person's going to cut right through that tension because this is a card of tension with his sword. It's like I've got to cut through this tension. I can't live in this tension anymore. It's too much. It's too overwhelming. It's too chaotic for me. I can't do it anymore. It just is stealing my energy. So somebody is deciding that something needs to end. They are. And I feel like... Um, Well, let me get some more cards. Queen of Pentacles. The world reversed. Interesting. The Six of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Pentacles upright. And the King of... A lot of Pentacles here. I've had this deck for a long time. I used this deck. I used to use it. It used to be one of my favorite decks. I dug it out. Look at this. So we have a... You know, and this is a soulmate connection, I have to tell you that is probably dying okay something you know we have many soulmates in a lifetime so don't 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 think that just because something is leaving that you know you won't find something again because this is going to lead you right towards a new successful uh path okay it's going to lead you towards your next life lesson so whatever is completing it's a life lesson that you are completing that's the that's the truth here okay so we have somebody that's being practical Somebody that's doing the responsible thing. Somebody that is taking what they have to offer and heading. They're heading out. They're make. They're heading. They're heading in a new direction. Um, this person is maybe heading out on their own. I think this person is going on their own. They are um, taking what they have. They're taking their offer. They're taking their stability and their security. And they're investing it. They're deciding that they're going to invest it someplace else. Because there's there's no... Where, wherever they were at, whatever, whatever, wherever they where all the tension is, wherever all the struggle is, wherever they were playing this game, there's no reward. There's no success. There's no success there. It's like I can't... Staying here in this... Uh, illusion you know staying here where there's confusion and illusion staying here where there's confusion illusion intention and fighting and play game playing there's no it's causing a feeling of emptiness it's causing a, a lack of success it's like it's holding me back it's holding me back from you know anybody else accepting my offer so you know I feel like you know this is a one-sided situation where somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve they may have been waiting for some communication from somebody who you know this is communication but it's conflicting com from communication maybe they've been waiting for somebody to give them some communication or give them some truth and this person just doesn't have the means or the stability or the ability to stop playing games or whatever. I don't know who that one's for, but whatever. We got a game player here that is hiding something and they just can't tell the truth. So I don't know who that one's for, but it's for somebody. 
But I feel like if you have somebody else that is going to, or it could be the same person, is going to plant their seeds someplace else. I'm going to invest my time and my energy in another direction because I don't want to, I want, I deserve, I deserve, I deserve communication. I deserve the truth. I deserve success. I deserve a golden opportunity. I deserve a new beginning. I deserve, I deserve to be appreciated. I deserve to be accepted. I don't want to have my opportunity thrown away. And I think that somebody is dealing with another person that doesn't see their opportunity, doesn't see what they have to offer. And this person, whoever they're dealing with, has is just not reciprocating they're not reciprocating at all at all there's no love in these cards there is absolutely no love in these cards it's like it's all based on um stability the only reason you know at this point this whole reading is about uh stability it's about uh money it's about investment it's about security it's not about love at all it's like this i'm letting go of this situation because i i want love i deserve i deserve so it looks like somebody doesn't have energy to put effort into something that isn't love anymore. I mean, I just don't. If this isn't love, I, and I want love, and I, so I know that I'm going to have to. I'm going to go have to plant my seed someplace else. So we have an ending here. We have an ending here of a soulmate connection. Okay, these, this is the truth. These are these are soulmates, and it's it's. And they're mirroring each other, and we do. We have an end of a soulmate connection because somebody isn't um, really focused. It's like this person has an offer, and this person, this person isn't even seeing it. This person is thinks, you know, I have enough. Hold on, I'm sorry. I just gotta shut that off. That's funny though. Sorry about that. Um, this person is focused on everything but love. So this person has an offer. It's a, it's a golden opportunity. It's like she's like, do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want? It? He's he's not even looking at her. He's his he's upside down. You know he's he's not grounded. He's not seeing it. He's not wanting to see it. He's not. He's like, I got enough. Oh, he's concentrated on himself. He's selfish. He's conceited. He's self-centered. He's just not focused on love at all. And, you know, so, you know, if you're not going to see what I have to offer you and you're going to just let it slip away, it's like this guy now has taken the opportunity. And he's going to let it drop away. It's like at one time he wanted it, but he's not taking care of it anymore. So whatever, whatever. We, I, we have somebody that is deciding to to uh, end things. I mean, it's the same old story. That's what's going on in the collective. That is what's going on right now at this time. So on one eleven, one eleven particularly, there could be some sort of communication that either you give, you give, or you receive. Because this is give or take. This is give or take. There's going to be some communication, whether you are delivering it or you are receiving it. This is give or, give or take. You're going to receive some sort of probably conflicting, maybe even hurtful communication, whether you're delivering it or you're receiving it that says, you know what? This is too much. This is, this is taking enough of me. I'm letting go of this. And I'm planning, I'm going someplace else. I'm going to take what I can get here. And I'm, I'm going to go plan them someplace. I'm going to invest someplace else. I've wasted my time. Trying to make something successful that was just a game to you. Somebody is making a complex decision. They are. And they're thinking about it. It's not like they're making it overnight. This is no impulsive decision. It's definitely not impulsive. Somebody is really, really thinking about where am I going from here? What should I choose? Yeah, 
somebody is no longer going to be in limbo. I'm not going to I'm not going to hang around here anymore. I'm not. Somebody is finding the strength to follow their passion. They're making a a conscious change to to drop something. I'm I'm letting this end. It's too like I said, it's too burdensome. It's too heavy. I'm not going to sit around here and be you know, feel like I'm abused or feel like I'm not heard or belittled or whatever the case is. I don't want to be in a situation where there's no love because here we go. Four more cards. Still no love. Still no love. Somebody has been indecisive. Holding on. Holding on doing everything in their power to make it successful, but no matter what they do, they're dealing with a person that is not open to love. I'm sorry with these two cards. I'm really not. This person is not. Their heart isn't in it, okay? Their heart isn't in it, and I can't pretend I'm not going to pretty it up for you. I am not. I refuse. If it's pretty, it's pretty. If it's not, it's not. You know, I, I found that quote today. Hurt me. Hurt me with the truth. But never comfort me with a lie. And I posted it. I posted it on my community, whatever tab, and on my Facebook. It's the truth. Would you rather hear the truth or would you rather be coddled and lied to? Because that's what you get from me. I'm not going to, to lie to you just to comfort you. Somebody has been indecisive and they've been hurting themselves by hanging on to something that is not, there's, it's not love anymore. There's no love, there's no passion. The passion and the love is gone. And they're making a conscious change to cut something out and stand up for themselves and stop, stop. I'm done. I'm, I've been enlightened. I've received the word. I, I know what I got to do. Somebody's ready to face the struggle. I'm ready to face the pain. I'm ready to close this chapter so somebody's made the decision to leave and that is exactly what's going on you want to know why because they've evolved they've evolved they've changed they're not the same person they've been they've been through some sort of awakening they have the last year or the last 10 years or the last 11 years has really changed this person whoever the one that I'm not who I used to be I have evolved And therefore, they're, they're doing what they have to do. They're making the compromises that they need to make to be the best that they got to be. So that's what we have. That's what we have for the 11th. We have a, we have a, a transformation, okay? We have a transformation. We're going to get one of these, and it's the ultimate release, and it really is. With that death card and that universe, that, that's the ultimate release. It's the release of something that is no longer love, whether it's a job, whether whatever it is. There's no love in these cards. There's not. Somebody has come a really, 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 really long way. They have. Somebody has come a really long way. And now they can't do it anymore. It's like, I can't do this anymore. I have to sit down. I, I can't even do this anymore. Inner trust. Inner trust. Inner knowing. You could call this the high priestess. It's a two. It's, it is basically the high priestess, if you ask me. Inner trust. We got to read this one. That's what's happening. Somebody is being divinely guided. 
Though it may be cloaked and hidden within you, lies natural magnific magnificence, vibrancy, and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. This oracle brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition in your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love and you will sometimes what you sense will be love and you will open your heart and move easily towards the source of that love, be it in the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you care deeply about or want to pursue or spiritual or creative practice that you are keen to keen to explore. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition in your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love. Some things what you sense will be love and you will be open. And you will open your heart and move easily towards that source of love. You're heading towards love and that's why you're doing this. That's why you're doing this. Because you want love. I want love. That's what this is. Sometimes... What you sense will be more challenging than this, and we will ask something different of you. It might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or in the situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you have drawn this card because you are unnecessarily, unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear or the lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself, or the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. Somebody needs to trust that they will persevere by following their path to divine love. And the only way to, to, to get to that real divine love is to allow endings and transformations you have to allow it so today 111 is a day of transformation if you if your heart if your intuition if your inner guide is telling you that it's time to go you need to listen And that's what I have for today.